Hello friends, today we are going to learn about how to make a municipal report of ETABS. In the previous video we have learned about the modeling and analysis of simple residential building by using the ETABS and now we are going to learn about how to make a final ETABS municipal report that you need to make before submitting any reports in the municipality. So let's start. Let me open a file. <clears throat> Please check out my previous video about the modeling and design of ETAPS building. Uh, <coughs> at first we need a cover page. Let me check out next one. <clears throat> okay let's start at first we need a cover page which includes this structural analysis of residential building and our building looks like this three and a half story building you can simply Take this image by going to the ETABS and then in the extrude view. And if you click on the extrude view, our 3D view looks like this, and you can snap it from our snipping tool. And then you can write the structure analysis by owner name of the building and it's your NEC registration number and location. With this is done in November 2017. And the second page includes the table of contents which includes introduction, building details, materials used like concrete, steel and non-structural components, design parameters, relevant codes followed, load on structure imposed like dead load, live load or seismic load, <coughs> load combination, structural analysis, design method of structural elements and detailing of the structural elements and finally an access. So in the introduction section you need to <coughs> write about a small summarized detail about your buildings, your location, in which place it is located and what are the codes that you followed during the making of your ETAPS video. So in the second we need to write a building details, owner, name building type, location, plot number, area, plinth area which you can obtain this information by asking to the owner or we can also see from the blueprint drawing and also Lal Purza and the story, story height, total height, exterior wall and partition wall, thickness of exterior and partition wall which we can obtain from the ETAPS. <clears throat> so the material used are reinforced RCC and it's also the <coughs> act as major structural material and the concrete grade used are M20 as per IS Indian standard specification and the steel of grade of FE500 is used. So the concrete is M20 characteristic compressive strength is 20 MPa as you all know unit weight of RCC is 25 kN per meter cube and Young's modulus of elasticity is 5100 FCK so for M20 it's 22360.7 Newton per mm square for M20 so in this case we have used a steel grade of FE500 for both longitudinal and shear reinforcement and the non-structural components used are brick wall finishing plaster and screening or poling so <clears throat> Let us go to the design parameter. As you all know, unit weight of RCC is 25. Unit weight of steel is 78.50 kN per meter cube, a brick 19, and floor finish is 0.6 kN per meter square. And the live load that we imposed in our ETAPs for our building are for floor 2, for staircase and corridor 3, for non accessible roof is 0.75, and for accessible roof is 1.50. And the seismic parameters are soil type. As our building stands upon the medium type of soil, so I choose type 2. You can also choose type 1 or type 3 depending upon the soil condition at a site. And the seismic zone factor is 0 0.36 which we can obtain from our code, IS code 1893 part 1. So the relevant codes followed for our <coughs> designing of our structural drawings are IS 56, SP 16, NBC 105, so 1994, IS 875 part 1 and IS 875 part 2 for the respective 
elements as you can see from here so the loads on the structure is a dead load live load and seismic load and we can give a small overview about the dead load what is dead load and any stuffs so live load also simply we can write a small detail about live load seismic load and also in the defining portion <coughs> we did load combination of 1.5 times dead load live load and other and you need to include all these things here and structural analysis has been performed using the types version 2018 in our case so designing method of structural analysis is <coughs> we used IS 456 2000 for our design of structural element and the limit state method is used for the designing so detailing of structural elements as you can see the codes used are IS 456 1995 NBC and other so the annex is in the annex person right these things so seismic load calculation of the building unit weight of concrete unit weight of brick live load that we <coughs> imposed and live load as corridor for floor finish and thickness of slab is 125 mm and uh, now let's calculate the lateral load so to we are <coughs> total height of the building is 10.972 which you can opt obtain this by right clicking on the e tabs go to edit grid data and go to history height and uh, after subtracting the total height with its base we can get this 10.972 and the time period we know the formula is 0 0.075 into s co power 0 0.75 so doing this we get our time period 0 0.45 to second so base here b is ah into w so the design horizontal acceleration spectrum ah is 0 0.09 as you can obtain this from code and the total seismic weight of the building is 290.258 kN from ETAPS. You can see this how to get the total seismic weight of the building from my previous video, which I will give link in the description. So, therefore, our base CRB is 206.33 kN. So, now we, need, we also need to input the data figures which are listed below. So, this is our 3D view of our building and beam and column at <coughs> AA levels this vertical portion is termed is column and we have given names for that and the horizontal section is beam so nodes level at AA we need to input all the figures <coughs> as far as possible in our ETAB report so wall load assignment uh, the amount of wall load assigned in the story 1, story 2, story 3 and story 4 as you can see and these figures uh, we can get from the e tabs simply by running our analysis and after our design has been passed we can obtain this simply from there this is a bending moment diagram 3 3 diagram due to decon 2 to at AA this is displacement diagram and we and also the data reinforcement at AA as you can see this can be obtained from ETABS detailed reinforced diagram at BB CC <coughs> and this is a reinforcement for beam All the reinforcement that are required should be included as far as possible so after that after our figure portion now we need to design some elements which our ETAPS does not design so we need to calculate it manually we need to calculate it manually or by safe so I have calculated it manually in Excel uh, if you need if you need how to calculate it in excel sheet please uh, comment below then i will provide you the excel sheet of slab it is just an overview so i won't be going into the detail of how to do it we have also done this during our study in engineering so you can also do it from there so and also if you want this then you can simply comment down your email id then i will provide it and this is for our dog leg staircase 
design of staircase and the design of footing so we need a detailed calculation of these things that should be included in our ETAB report and finally we need to <coughs> include our displacement maximum story displacement and maximum story drift uh, maximum story displacement is the permissible maximum story displacement is 0.04 times the height of the building and you can check the value and also the maximum story drift is should be always be less than 0.004 so if your maximum storage drift is 0.004 then it's okay okay guys uh, these are the things that we should mention in our etabs municipal report section uh, as i have said earlier you can simply check my previous video and learn a lot from modeling and analysis and if you need this report sample then please comment down your email ad email address and i will send it to there and also please don't forget to like share and subscribe this thanks for watching